Hey Trader Rockers, welcome to Trader Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to be doing another catch and cook and this time we're going to be doing a catch and cook with shark. I've done quite a few catch and cook uh, videos with sharks, especially the small coastal sharks like the sharp nose, the black nose, and the bonnet. In this video we're going to be cooking up some Atlantic sharp nose and we're going to be doing something with it that I love to do. And most of you probably never even heard of this. We're going to be do making shark empanadas. It's my own little recipe and my family absolutely loves it. So real quick, check out this video of me catching this really nice sharp nose. I can grab the gaff bin just in case. I'm not fighting all that big now. Unless he gave up already. So sharp nose. He thought he was the man. Alright. Alright Okay. Come here. Buddy, I gotcha. Alright, cool. Nice little sharp nose, guys. My players. They're in my pocket, I think. Hold on, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get them again. Just gotta get a hold of them. Alright, let's see where you at here. Nice little short nose. Heck yeah. Mangoes and sharp nose. All right guys, well, here's where I would normally put the cleaning section of the video. But I didn't record the session of me cleaning the fish in this video, but I do have some older clips, so I will go ahead and roll those for you right now. It's from an older video, uh, how to clean a shark. So you look at these clips real quick, and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, I got my my small Atlantic sharp nose here. This is almost full grown, not quite full grown, but just a little, they get just a little bit bigger. These little small coastal sharks. You're allowed two per boat, one per person, whichever is less. So if you're just you in the boat by yourself, you only allow one. But if you got three, four, five people, you're still only allowed two per boat. So I'm gonna show you how real quick how to clean this fish. I'm just sharpen my knife. A little bit too far there. All right, I'll make that incision there. Make this incision right here. All right, this off. All right, these are really easy to clean if your knife's sharp. 
your hand just like this and just go straight down. A lot easier to clean than a big shark. What's that? All right, guys, I got my two shark fillets here. I'll go ahead and skin these. And what I like to do is just not run my knife totally along the skin. So that way I get off a lot of that red meat. I leave the red meat on the skin. So I kind of stay off just, just off the skin. Done. See, I left all that red bloodline on that skin. And I got a pretty much a very clean fillet. In the belly just come through here and just just like that and just cut it off right there discard that I got one steak two steaks and the tail piece. all right Jetty Rockers we're in the kitchen now we got a couple pieces of my shark here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them into little chunks little squares Kind of what you want guys little pieces like this like that I'm just gonna put them in a bowl there we go all right guys well I got all my shark cut up in little pieces little bite sized little tiny little chunks so now I'm going to melt some butter in a pan, I'm going to put these in there and I'm going to saute them with some uh, black and red fish magic and then we'll be able to uh, start making up some uh, empanadas. Alright, well I got my butter, my butter melting right here. I'm going to add some Chef Paul's black and red fish magic. You guys know I love this stuff. I use it quite a bit on this channel. I'm going to put a whole bunch in there and we're going to be actually putting, be putting some more in there as well as we go on with this. We'll let that go a little bit and then we'll add the shark. Alright guys, I got my butter going pretty good now. So I'll go ahead and put the shark in here. And we're just going to let it cook till all the edges get white. All these little pieces cook through. I'll go ahead and put some more redfish magic on there. like that. We're just going to let this cook for a little while and then we'll get to it. All right, while well, my shark is cooking, I got the other ingredients we're going to need for this. We need some of these little snack cheese habanero jack sticks. We're going to cut them up in little pieces. We're also going to need a couple packs of the empanada shells. There's 10 in each pack. I got two packs here because we're going to make a lot of them. There's a really good leftover as well. And we're also going to need some chunky salsa. So as soon as the shark's ready, we'll get putting these together. Okay, now what we're going to do, I drained all the liquid out of here. So there's very little liquid whatsoever in here. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our chunky salsa. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. About like that. Mix it all around. Alright. Looks like we might need a little bit more, so we'll go ahead and add a little bit more. That should be enough. And this is basically our filling for our empanadas. Alright, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this. The black and red fish magic. Because when we emptied the liquid, we emptied a lot of that out. There we go. Don't be afraid to use a lot of this stuff when you're making this. So there we go, guys. So now we're going to take this off the heat and we're going to let it cool and then we will be able to make some empanada shells and those things. And actually before I forget, you guys can actually make this just as it is and eat it over rice and it's outstanding. You don't have to put it in the empanada shells. But this little simple recipe is awesome just on its own. Okay guys, well now it's time to make some empanadas. 
I've got my little shell here. I've got one shell. I'm just going to take a little bit of the shark meat. About like that. Can't fill it too full because you got to fold this in half. And we're going to add a piece of cheese in here. And what I like to do is pick it up and do it by hand. About like this. Get the wrapper off. Push it, push it together all the way around. Just like that. So make a nice little pocket. Save this. You're going to go around and you're going to squeeze it together with a fork. About like that. Do the same thing on the other side. So there you go. There's a finished empanada. And what I do is I lay them on the uh, wax paper that comes with it so that they don't stick. I'll go ahead and make one more. About like that. Piece of cheese. Push it all together. There you go. Pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. Alright guys, there we go. Okay guys, I got a big portion of my empanadas all done. About like that. I got my green light on my fryer, so we're going to put three in at a time. Get a third one in there. There we go. I'm going to let those cook for a little bit so they get nice golden brown. And we'll put in some more. Okay, these are looking pretty good. Go ahead and take these ones out. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Absolutely delicious. Alright, well, I'm going to get cooking the rest of these, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, they're coming along really good. Here's what we got done so far, and they look awesome, don't they guys? Wish y'all could smell them, they're absolutely delicious. Alright y'all, we're down to our last two. I got three in here cooking right now, and I got all these over here. But real quick, if you guys would, I'm going to put a link up here to another video I did right when I first started my Catching Cooks. I did a mangrove snapper and empanada. I'm going to put that link up here somewhere. You guys go check out that video. Okay, guys, we got all the empanadas done, all 20 of them. All total time from start to finish, it's about a 30-minute ordeal. You know, it takes, you got to make the filling, then you got to stuff each one, then you got to cook them, you know, three at a time. So it takes quite a bit of time, but, man, it's worth it. They're absolutely delicious. So I'm going to get these plated up, and I'll see you guys at the couch. All right, J-Rockers, we got our empanadas. Right here's what they look like. Really nice, full. So go ahead and take a bite. Man. Wow. Right there. Wow. Mm. These things are outstanding. I mean, one of my favorite ways to eat shark, next to the buffalo shark bites and grilled shark. This is right up there at the top, guys. Absolutely outstanding. That's awesome. Pretty easy to make. It's actually very simple to make. It's a little time consuming, but it's well worth the effort you put into it, believe me. And you can do this with pretty much any fish. You can do it with chicken, beef, any of that kind of stuff as well, too. Well, this is a great way to utilize your shark meat. 
it's awesome. I, you know, I already put a link up here. You go check out a video I did when I first started my catching cooks for the mango snapper empanadas. It's one of the first catching cooks that I did, and those were awesome. Those were outstanding. I did it a little bit different way, but still amazing. Well, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you all for subscribing to this channel. We're over 16,000 now, and that's because you guys are awesome, and we appreciate each and every one of you all. We really do. You guys have really helped this channel grow, and without you guys, we, will, we really wouldn't be doing this. So I thank you, and I appreciate you guys. Well, guys, we'll get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Don't forget to subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated, y'all. See you later. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Go check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.